Welcome back to Code Harvest. In this video, we are going to be making the log in or a sign up page. Um, this is part four of this web series, so please check out part one to part three in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, our login or sign up page has nothing. It is completely blank. So let's head over to our VS Code. And right now, let's just add the building blocks of a HTML page. So let's proceed with creating the body. So what we want is basically um, to pick or choose a background image. And in this case, I will be using this image right here. Um, I believe it's account bg.jpg. So let's reload that and I'm gonna add a few properties, CSS properties to ensure that it looks, it covers the whole page, it does not repeat and the background image is fixed, attached completely. Now we are going to be moving on to our nav. So. Right here, we're just going to be creating a new div and we'll call that class. Uh, we'll include a class called container. And basically, I'm also including the image, which will be at the top center of the page, justified to the uh, center of the page. And now let's head over to our next part, which is creating a new div and we'll create a new class called white box and we'll create another class called center so basically we just want to create a white box that we've seen at the beginning of the video and we want to center that to the um we want to position that to the center of the page so now let's head over to a uh, uh, sorry head over to our css file and actually create the white box and the center properties So the white box happens to be at the center of the page. It has a border radius, and since the, since the corners looked uh, looks round, the background color is white, and it has a specific height and width. Now let's move on to our second div, which is um, our form box. Uh, however, we're not going to be adding any properties to form box. In fact we will actually include properties for it later on but for now I'll just create an ID called center of sorry form box and I will include the class center since we want everything to be centered like every like the text um, etc the text the buttons the links and so on okay and now that we have that set we are going to create a new um, a new header and we'll just say sign up so that should now appear and while that loads let's uh, begin to create our new form in which we want a style width of about 300 pixels and we'll create three divs right here each one should have should include the, a class called input box and which we will include the CSS uh, properties in a moment and each of them should have an input of type equals text sorry yep out of focus equals to on also placeholder should equal to name for this for the first one at least and it should be required to fill in you know the input box so we're just gonna copy and paste that to for email and for password as well okay so i believe now it is time to include the properties of input box
all right now i have uh basically chosen a grayish color for our input box and now i'll just be working on removing the input background uh, color which is white removing the border as well making sure that there is no outline at all and increasing the width between um the edge of each the left part of the uh, input box and the input box itself all right now that we're done with that we're just going to uh, head over to bootstrap i'm going to use bootstrap version 5 and i'm gonna look for icons that will basically symbolize or display or signify um you know the name user the e an email basically an envelope and a lock all right now that we are done with the buttons let's just close the bootstrap tab and one thing uh, that we're missing is to change this text from text to password so now that I type it's gonna be in black dots and that's just very simple and very easy which is very um, convenient so let's just change the background color of each icon to about dark gray so off the same range 128 however we're just going to increase the a range to one so i'm just gonna okay why are there two oops so i'm just gonna copy that and paste that for every input box and now that we're done i'm just going to increase the margin Okay, and now that we're done with the header as well as each input box, we're just going to go ahead and include the button uh, that will just say enter. And I have a CSS file full of buttons. So in this case, I'll be using button peach filled just to match up with the background and the overall theme of the clothing store. And I think that looks much better so last but not least we just need to include the link as well as which comes with the JavaScript as well script I mean we haven't included the draft so I've already included the buttons that we uh, will sorry ids that we will change um, the text content so for example this first one from already a user to not a user and this one here to sign up for the login page and i also included a new header and of course and again we're going to remove name for the login page okay before we actually um, include the javascript code that allows us to view our login page through clicking this link right here we should first include the option for the user to view their password as well as hide their password so we should use um, an eye icon which uh, probably you've seen before when where when you click it you, you have you have the option to view your password and when you click it again it hides so let's head over here and create a new div and in here we're just going to create a wait before that let's create a new id here since we're going to use this id later on and i'll just call this one i i key all right so now we're going to look for bootstrap icons before we actually add some javascript code and we're gonna have to fix the CSS. We're gonna have to add some CSS properties as well. All 
Alright, now that you can see the eye icons, I'm just now I'm just going to fix on the CSS properties for this to make sure that it moves towards the end of the input box and it looks more a little lighter than that. It complements the input box color of this lock. These icons are kind of dark gray and yeah. All right, now that we're done with that, let's head over here to our head part, to our head tag and include or add a new script. And in here, before we include the function, I'm just going to call it a function because no function is being called. So on click, call out I toggle. So let's head over here and create a new function called I toggle and when that is being called we just want to grab the IDs for these two uh, toggles all right now that I've just added uh, three variables so one for the I slash icon one for the one without and one for uh, including the option to view the password so we will be able to change uh, the display to show the password okay I mean we're gonna change the type so from password to text so now let's include the if statement Alright, now that I've added the JavaScript, so basically what I've said is if the I toggle with the slash is not seen once clicked, then it should be shown and the other icon should be hidden and the type uh, of input here should be password. But if this is clicked as it is, uh, then this should be hidden, the other icon should be shown. And the text the type of text type of input should be text all right uh, now that we have that fixed now let's take a reload and let's actually be a password so let me just type one two three let me click this icon and now we can finally see this so now let's move on to our last function which is login process so over here we're just going to create a new function we've already created the name uh, so it's I think it's called login process and now I'm just going to add the exact same logic to this just we're just using different IDs all right that's the end of the creation of this page if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not so see you next week and keep harvesting goodbye